Hey, what's going on? It's Instructor Mike. All right, I'm going to post this video regarding concealed carry insurance. This is an important question that you need to consider with your specific insurance provider, okay? But I'm not going to post a full video unless you all tell me after this teaser that you want to watch the full video. If you want to watch it, sound off in the comments with the word post it, okay, or whatever. Something to the effect of post it. And when I see enough comments, I will post that full video because it's long, about maybe 26, 27 minutes, okay? I don't want to waste your time. If you want to watch it after this teaser, go on ahead and let me know. Question for you guys, and it's controversial. I don't know if you're going to talk about it, but I don't know if, Todd, I know you hinted on this earlier. Brian, I know you've talked about this too. We all have kind of hinted on this, that the way that society and certain aspects of the government are manipulating the judicial process to where it's probably more likely than not where you're not going to get a fair trial uh, by the triers of fact. And you probably don't want to chance it with one judge uh, because as you can see in the Kim Potter case, how one person <laughs> was able to make it all the way to the judge's uh, uh, residence. You see what I'm saying? So even if you went with the judge, you know, how there might, that judge might still be pressured because it's just one person. And so what I'm finding is that you may not get justice until the appellate process. Maybe. Uh, yeah. And that's if, your, it's if your lawyer was able to do enough to preserve things on the record that are appealable issues and get as many appealable issues as possible. So the question that I have is this. Concealed carry insurance, whatever that may be, right? If the triers of fact being the jury, the judge, the public, because of court of public opinion, we can't discount them, right? in certain cases, because they influence jury decisions. Let's not make a mistake and not think that's not the case, right? If you don't find this person guilty, we're going to burn it down. Let's see waters. Just saying. How many of us have done the research, without mentioning any names, unless you care to do so, as to whether or not these providers will back us at the appeal. Let me provide context. Derek Chauvin, granted that was not a concealed carry situation, right? It was a police officer situation. But you see that his defense attorney, his name was Eric Thomas, it was funded by the union. The minute he was found guilty, regardless of what side you're on, he was trying to get an appellate lawyer that was denied. So is that possible for concealed carriers? So that's going to depend on the insurance because some right, about to say the take care of that's why I'm asking the question. Yeah, so yeah. Some, some some insurances, I you know mean, will take you all the way through the appeal process if need be. Um, it's obviously Good up to question. everyone to do their own due diligence and research as much as possible. Because again, if you're going to research about your instructors, why wouldn't you research about your insurance? Because most people ain't I mean, told I about insurance. With, I didn't go with State Farm just to go with State Farm just because that's what I see on the TV.